Good morning. Today's pre-market news. Think the nightmare is over for now. It's futile to hazard too many guesses on the market crash. Even as investors are looking for reasons, markets world over are staging a recovery so as to ensure you make your own recovery a priority before anything else. The Indian market too is set to recover after a day best forgotten. The Nikkei has gained approximately 3% in the morning trade. On Thursday, the index fell 7.3% as if it was hit by an earthquake, tsunami or nuclear disaster. Seven-month-low Chinese PMI Ben Bernanke's comments and a spike in Japanese bond yields were majorly to blame for the mayhem in markets. Some opine of long overdue correction has just happened. Finance Minister P. Chidambaram's comment to assuage fears over ending of U.S. bond buying program fall on deaf ears as market fell amid heavy sell-off. But there is a silver lining for world markets on Friday after U.S. jobless claims dropped better than expected 23,000 to a seasonally adjusted 3,45,000 reported U.S. Department of Labor. U.S. market closed marginally lower, recovering from deep cuts. New home sales in U.S. increased 2.3% in April compared to a month earlier, hitting its second highest level since 2008. PC maker HP was the biggest gainer after posting a better than expected earnings for the March quarter. Meanwhile, the yield on the 10-year Treasury note held about 2%, a level not seen in more than two months. French CAC 40 could come under pressure on Friday after IMF chief Christine Lagarde was questioned by French authorities and risked being slapped with formal investigations over her role in a Euro 285 million arbitration payment made to a supporter of former French President Nicolas Sarkozy. After an Baxi fiasco, US FDA import alert on Vocard have pundits worrying what the development holds for India's image's cheap generic drug maker. Pharma stocks will remain in focus. Indian oil, BPCL, HPCL shares will remain in focus today. The results are expected in the coming days. Spicejet, Crompton Greaves, Britannia Inns, Gammon Infra, ICRA, Karur Vaisya Bank stocks should be tracked as March quarter results of these companies are expected today. Rupee ended at Rs 55.59 per dollar on Thursday after Ben Bananke's comments on quantitative easing. FIIs pumped in $924.9 million on Thursday as compared with $293.2 million a day earlier. Trends in the FII flows. The FIIs were net buyers of Rs 3.16 billion in the cash segment on Thursday, while the domestic institutional investors were net sellers of Rs 5.38 billion as per the provisional figures released by the NSE. The foreign funds were net buyers of Rs 9.70 billion in the cash segment on Wednesday, according to the SEBI figures. Our recommendations, the technical calls for the day. We recommend buying Marico above Rs. 222 for the target price of Rs. 232 with stop loss placed at Rs. 217. Derivative strategy for the day. Long HTFC May future below Rs. 903 for the target price of 923 with stop loss placed at Rs. 893. Thank you. Wish you have a good day ahead.